Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. He's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. More than five years apart with similar height and some differences in reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the man. Event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, awesome. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This fight, I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Or... It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his legs to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Just missed with the leg kick. Well, it's 
one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Big fall from the rush land. Now he gets back to range. Moving to his left now. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, nice. Big kick lands. The right hand just misses. Oh, slips to avoid the right. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Okay, okay, let's focus, let's focus now. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Big punch lands over the top. Hustle to follow this. seconds to go. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice right hand. Oh. DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, DC, second round is getting Wait, underway. Right. Round one, right. not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Big kick lands. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. A uh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Over and over, he landed in big body kick. Lee gets hit with a kick. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Hold your ground. I need you to go forward. Beautiful strike. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 
just unable to quite find that range. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Campbell inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. An uppercut in it! Beautiful jab by him there, got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, massive kick to the head. Oh, straight right. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh! Oh, buckle in there. Beautiful shot to the body. Nice punch there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. His hands are down, let's set up that high kick now. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice body. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Nice leg kick lands. Beautiful punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Huge block there. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Lee gets hit with a kick. Beautiful body. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. 15 seconds remain in the round. Big head kick lands. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly 
with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh! Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Can't take many of those, you better check. Look at the force behind that leg kick. What a punch. Just over three minutes to go now. Good job defensively there to block the strike by Lee. Back and forth we go here. Relax, relax. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice body right under the elbow. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurts very bad. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. What a body kick. Big that knee lands there. That knee hurt him. He's giving him so many different things right now. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Pretty good right hand. Look at the end of that nice body kick. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. down, potentially five to go. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely, you're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Unbelievable, you're mixing it up perfectly. I love what you're doing with your kicks. Keep those going. He's slowing down. Ready fight. Ready. Fifth and final round. Big leg kick land. Oh, nice elbow. Real sneaky body kick. Good stick. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big punch land. You don't know when that leg kick is coming. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Still nice body kick land. Under three minutes remain in round five. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Ooh, what a punch. Mixes it. In. Oh!
strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Just misses with that one. Right under the elbow, the body keeps playing. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. So the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for decision the judges score the contest 49 46 50 45 and 49 46 declared the winner by unanimous decision Bruce the Dragon So the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's a person that truly did dictate the fight.